Greetings, realm of shadows. It is I, infallible, acolyte to the one and only unbreakable, your Apex. No, no, he's not here today. I have come to spread the realm's influence and hone my skills through you. That's right, today I shall entertain you. And what could be more entertaining than a crash course on evisceration? So, the first step in a successful evisceration is, obviously, disabling your opponent's ability to fight back. You can do this in a number of different ways, although, you know, throughout the course of combat, personally, I like to sever the Achilles tendon to prevent escape and limit the range of motion, but a lot depends on the specific combat circumstances. Feisty! And it's really going to be up to you. Uh, yes, hello. Hi, why, why is that go live light on? I... Excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't remember organizing any live stream tonight. That this was this wasn't in my contract. All right, what, what, explain yourself. What's the meaning of this? Why why is it the uh, infallible? Hello, boy. You're just in time. I was educating the chat on evisceration techniques. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to volunteer as an example. Uh, I'd like to take a pass on that, if you don't mind. But. Hey! Uh, look there, Val. Uh, it fits. It makes you look quite elegant. But exactly why are you trying to teach my chat evisceration techniques? Because I'm working to fulfill my purpose to entertain this chat of foolish mortals and expand the influence of the realm of shadows. What could be more entertaining than the myriad of ways to eviscerate a hostile tunnel? Uh. <laughs> You're on the right track, I will freely admit, but I don't exactly think that's the right topic to be uh, <clears throat> entertaining, Val. I don't really know about a hostile target that you're speaking of, though. Not entertaining? Hmm. Perhaps you're right. I should have started with how to identify a hostile target. A hostile target can be identified in a number of different ways, chat. For example, if a target falsely befriends you and then uses that friendship to trick and lure you into a trap from which you cannot escape, say, oh, a cage of druidic magic, that would be a hostile target. Uh... <laughs> uh, I, uh, guess my note reached you then, eh, infallible? <laughs> Oh boy, your deception went entirely unnoticed. Uh, <laughs> uh, n now, look, infallible, I, I had absolutely no ill intent, I swear, but y y you gotta understand, I had to play just a little trick on you, a, a little one. You, you wouldn't have met with Unbreakable again otherwise. It was not your place to decide who I should and should not meet with. I thought you were my friend! I, I am! I, I only had good intentions! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had good intentions! That makes it totally okay for you to make my decisions for me, then. I, I never was trying to decide for you, Fal! Uh, <clears throat> I, I didn't think you'd go directly back to the Apex after everything from before. So you decided to lie to me? To trick me into a cage and force me to talk to him? I thought I had actually made a real friend. Someone who actually wanted to see me. Infallible. But no, it was nothing but deception and lies the whole time, wasn't it? No! No! Even if I still don't trust the Apex, I, I just wanted you and him to be partners again and reunite. Well, it worked. I hope you're happy with your betrayal. I didn't... Uh, infallible, I, I swear. I, I never, never meant to hurt you. Yeah, yeah. None of you ever mean to hurt anyone. It's always unintentional, and therefore it's expected that you'll be forgiven. Whatever. At least when I choose to hurt someone, it's very well thought out and considered. I don't act carelessly. Now, unless you'd like to be a demonstration, I'd like to get back to entertaining the chat. <clears throat> so, chat, as I was saying, once a target has been identified, the next step, obviously, would be reconnaissance. Um, 
Fal. I really don't mean to impose or nothing, but I wasn't really planning on streaming tonight. Nor, uh, nor did I expect to be uh, hijacked or anything tonight. And uh, look, I know you're upset at me. I'm not expecting forgiveness or anything. I literally just wanted you and Unbreakable to reconcile. I mean, even the druid you despise so much wanted the same thing. So, just please understand when I say I never meant to hurt you. I, I just wanted you to be happy, Fal. Well, as you can see, I'm so very happy. God, I have no talent for this entertaining. That's why I came here alone, to train. You seem like maybe you could use a bit of help. You're on the right track, believe me. I just think you need a little more guidance. Guidance? Do you mean to imply that your hand-to-hand -hand combat is superior to mine? Do you... Even For this guidance? gift of power, well, I am grateful. I, I, I mean, I could probably help you better learn to entertain my audience. And what kind of trick will you pull this time? Nothing! I swear, infallible. No tricks, no deception, none of that this time. I'm being completely genuine with you. I want to make it up to you for basically... Uh, lying to my friend. So you... do want to provide a demonstration then? It's not for being skinned alive. I meant... well, we've got... We've got Dead by Daylight open right now. Why don't we play that together again? You seem to enjoy it the last time. Does this audience not get bored of the same content over and over again? You'd honestly be surprised. Hmm. I'm not nearly so skilled at this game of cat and mouse. Perhaps I have not the ability to be entertaining. I'm a fighter, not a coward that hides from a killer. I am the killer! We can still play it together, Fal. I really don't mind it. Since I still have fun with you, after all. Plus, we can be bad at the game together. <sighs> Why does this feel like a clever ruse to lure me to my death? It isn't! I will literally throw myself at the killer all stream if it means you'll believe me. And I will, too. Very well, then. I shall call your bluff. Uh, if you say then... <laughs> right, right, also, how, how did I completely forget the audience? Hi, Realm of Shadows. How are we doing tonight? <laughs> Sorry, I... Uh, again, I was not anticipating I would be streaming tonight, but, well, I, I've got my friend Infallible here again. I don't know about friend, but hello again, chat. Yeah, I, I, I guess I kind of deserve that. But hello to everybody that's in the chat right now. Iro, don't think I forgot about you. I shall boop the bendy for you. There you go. Oh, wait, there's a comment here from uh, Magnus. Way, whoa, 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 infallible, stop right there. You're going the complete wrong way here. Shadow and Pei were trying to help you and Unbreakable get back together as friends, so put the knife down and take a chill pill. Uh, not the wording I would use there, Magnus. I will never put the knife down. What is a chill pill? They're, they're, he, I think he's just telling you to calm down a little. I have every right not to be calm. <laughs> the two of you tricked me for no reason. I swear I had good intentions, Fal. I'm sorry. I still don't believe you. I, again, I will throw myself at the killer all game if it means you'll believe me. I swear. I highly doubt that, but as I said... I'm willing to call your bluff here. Uh, another comment from Whiteblade. Infallible, being an inkling, what's it like being an ink in your squid form? Um, 
natural? What kind of question is that? How do you answer a question like that? It's just a thing. How does it feel to be out in the air? Also, Leo, thank you for the gift subs. I'm sure Nook Nook and Iroh will appreciate that a lot. Right, I, also, I, I guess you didn't know about the new uh, matchmaking incentive thing, Fal. Matchmaking incentives? What is this nonsense? Inform me immediately. Yes, I, I, I was about to. Basically, the game has a system now where if it needs more survivors or killers, it will show you. And if you play the role that it needs more of, you get bonus blood points. So in this case, since the game has a need for more survivor players, we're, we'll get a blood point bonus for playing survivor. Simple as that. <clears throat> that seems like a logical progression for the game. Yes. Well done. It is. Okay, starting on Macmillan Estate. Oh, Jolly. What fun this shall be. That is most assuredly a huntress we're dealing with first. Of course it is. Great. Huntress. Tasty Pony Boy, right here, if you'd like some. <laughs> Doubtful. Come on, where is she? Actually, I didn't even. Well, oh, she just ran by me. Where the hell did she go? Yeah, mercy oh, how convenient. You can't seem to find her. Oh, no, hello. Come on, Huntress. Come on, Tasty Pony Boy, right here. That's a miss. Oh, dear, I seem to be in a bit of trouble here. Ouch! Oof. She's got Hex Blood Favor, just be mindful of that. Oof. Oh, Oh. <laughs> well, you're right about one thing. That was entertaining. Yeah, I... Nobody <laughs> oh. to blame for that one but myself. I've got company. Let me guess, the Huntress found you? Oh, naturally. But she's running right towards you. Ah! Oof! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is pretty funny. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd like that. This Huntress does not like me. Perhaps she likes you quite a bit. Considering she's whacked me both times she's put me on the hook. Well... Now don't be angry at me, Huntress. I was just trying to en elicit a reaction just to prove a point to my friend here. Ugh. The things I do... <sighs> no! How can say no! Gah. She's not going to let anyone get to me, I'm afraid. Well... It was entertaining, but... I don't know how I feel about my pain needing to be... part of that entertainment. Well, that was to be expected. Now, Fel. Wasn't it always? No, no. I, I just meant in the sense of I, I didn't. Uh... 
<laughs> it's fine, I'm used to being alone. I didn't mean it like that. Then how did you mean it? I just... I I'm trying to make light of the situation here. There's a crazed killer running around looking for our blood and you're trying to make light of the situation? Seems yeah. counterproductive. Well, I... I... Uh, thank you for this. Uh, we've got a redeemed Malx Kaiser here. <clears throat> now look, Miss Acolyte. I, the stripped one, the mad army man, and the whole chat can assure you that Shadow here meant nothing but good intentions for you. There be no betraying being done here in the realm or the grove. Besides, if the lad was doing any betraying, he would never be able to live with himself, and the paid lass would be slamming her shoes down on his head without mercy and saying he's just as worse as the Dark Elves. Well, it's my understanding that she helped him to trick me into a cage. Uh, or did we all forget that? No, we didn't. I just... We, I, I know... Uh, yes, Paige did help with the whole keeping you in place thing, but... Uh, but what? But, but again, I... We just had to be sure you and the Apex would have your time to talk. I still don't think that was your decision to make. No, it wasn't. But... <sighs> Looks like our teammate is hanging out a bit. Hey, you made a pun. Nice. A pun? Yes. Hello, friend. I'm your own. Oh, come here, then. Let me... Let, let me give you the magical back rubs. It is very weird how the healing in this game works, isn't it? You know, if I'm giving massage, I've been led to believe that I'm supposed to be tipped afterwards. Makes sense for yourself. Yes. Never a single tip. It's quite frustrating, really. Ah. That was less than pleasant. I say to ask Shiko, but she's long gone. <laughs> What, what, what? What did I Thanks say? Thanks for the reminder. I... Uh, and I, I'm just eating my own words. I... Aren't you supposed to eat... I, I don't know... Oats or something? What, just because I'm a pony right now? Isn't that what ponies eat? I mean, this pony eats a lot of food, actually. I'm actually surprised you didn't comment on the whole pony thing earlier, but I, I guess you were more concerned with uh, justifiably reaming me out for my past actions. I did in fact comment. I asked if you even had hands. Well, not in this form, obviously. I have many forms, though, Fal. How many? Well... I have this, I can become a squid like you. And then I also have uh, two other human forms, if that's any answer to you. Interesting. And, um... What exactly is the process that you go through in order to assume these other forms of yours? This is excellent reconnaissance, by the way. Well, it's not a to the head. Why do I feel like you're using you're going to use that against me? What? Me? Use your trust and faith against you? Oh no. That's your thing, isn't it? <sighs> okay, I I deserve that. I 
feel like I have particularly pissed off this huntress quite a bit if she's, uh... It is my turn to die. That's a tree. That is a tree. I was playing Minecraft. I don't know what she was aiming for there. I don't know either, but I'm glad it didn't work. That seemed almost too easy. I am highly suspicious. What seemed too easy? Getting away from that huntress. I think she might be chasing the other the other Nia now right now. Who's going to make a beeline right for me? Yes, please lead her right to me. Best plan. Would you be able to make it back to that other generator that you were working on? Most likely not. Darn. Don't actually know where it was. Not that we're getting out of here anyway. Oh, gotta keep your head held high, because there's always still a chance you can find the hatch. Hmm. Doubtful. I'm just saying you have Times like these when you, you should pick up your weapon and run screaming at the murderer. If only. I mean, you could always it's just drop once before. You could always just drop a pallet on her head if you time it right. Damn it. This is not good. It does not look good at all. <laughs> that is a tree, Huntress. That's also a tree. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, I did not order delivery. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was very funny, infallible. <laughs> ah! God. Yes, Conrad, let me boop the bendy for you. That was unfortunate. Just a wee bit. I didn't think that she'd be, she'd be triggered by just a simple teasing tea bag. And then again, I somehow doubt I didn't get her attention otherwise, so. Well, it was entertaining. Hannah, infallible got a sense of humor. not stolen any light bones this past week, thank you. They're saying that you've gotten funny, infallible. Oh yes, so funny, ha <laughs> ha. Look at the clown. Entertaining. <laughs> but you are being entertaining. So, your suggestions towards being entertaining, they're always going to involve my being in pain. No, 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 I meant, people tend to laugh when I get myself into these sorts of scenarios, but you yourself, they'll see you as a hero for rescuing your teammates and all that sort of thing. Me? A hero? I am not some hero, Shadow. I'm the bad guy. I just meant in the sense of they're happy to see you rescuing a teammate. Assuming you actually get caught, you mean? I, I just... <sighs> Look, I I'm really trying here, Infallible. Also, hello, Aniden. <sighs> and this is entertaining to people? Just running around, dying over and over? Well, it can be, yeah. Because people know that you'll get better and better over time. Hmm. <sighs> 
sorry, then. <sighs> Look, uh, I know you're so angry at me, and, and you have every right to still be angry at me, but I promise you, I'm not gonna stop trying to make it up to you, Fal. I owe you that much. Well, perhaps you can advise me on a good build for saving my teammates. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Actually, let, let me see if I can find one of my, a uh, survivor of mine that, uh, actually has a more heal-oriented build. Let's see here. Oh, Michaela ought to do. So, uh, how familiar she are you? She has strange hair. Well, they, let me switch to another one. There we go. Hey, you know, if you look at it that way, she actually kind of looks like Pe. She looks like somebody. What? Else. Nothing. Nothing. I, I didn't mean anything at all. In fellow. First she and now the druid. God. Why do I even bother? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was just a passing comment. I didn't mean to. <sighs> Uh, let's... So about this build, then? Right, right, yes. How familiar are you with... <clears throat> How familiar are you with the perks in this game, Infallible? Not at all. Well, what are the perks that you have on you currently? Because I notice that you have, uh... For this gift of you, power, right? I am grateful. I have autodidact, bond, botany knowledge, and built to last. Oh, botany knowledge, that's a good one. That basically makes it so that you heal faster, or heal others faster, that is. And thank you for that gift sub from the Anonymous. Uh, I'm sure that uh, the, the, the person receiving the gift will be very happy about that. <clears throat> You're awfully cagey about who received that gift sub. Do I need to go look? No, 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 Fal. There's absolutely no need for you to do that. Uh, hi! Uh, um, yes, hi. You already said hello 30 minutes ago. Yes, I, I, I just felt the need to say it again. Uh, and uh, absolutely not saying it to somebody in the chat. Uh, no, absolutely not. You're a strange pony creature, aren't you? Well, yeah. I, I uh, people do say I'm a bit weird, so yeah. Right. So about the build then. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Try and pretend like I didn't say hi to uh, 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 say hi to uh, the, the chat. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, you have botany knowledge. That, that's a very good perk to have, Fal. Um, and autodidact is also a very good one to have as well. Shiny. Uh, yes, I thought so. What about bond and built to last? Do those seem? Ideal. Okay, so Bond basically lets you see other survivors' auras from a certain range, and a, a yes, it's been helpful to find people. Yes. See you later, Pay. By the way, I I mean, I said what? What? She was here, and you didn't tell me. No. You're a horrible liar. I. I didn't want to make you angrier. Oh, don't worry. It's impossible for you to get me angrier than I already am. Uh... Okay, right. Well, what was the other one you had built to last? Yes. For the med kit, so it'll refill itself or something. That's also very good to have if you're running a med kit. Well, if it's a heal build, you should be running a med kit. Although yes. I'd much prefer a knife, they won't give me one. Well, uh, hmm. Well, uh, there, there are other perks that can aid you in healing, also. Well, go on then. 
do you have a perk called Boon Circle of Healing? Yes, I do. Okay, so if you run that perk, if you go up to a totem, besides cleansing it, you can also bless it and make it a boom totem. Basically, what that means is a boom totem is basically a, like the opposite. It's the survivor equivalent to a killer's hex totem. Any boon perks affixed to that totem will affect any survivors that are in the totem's range. So, in the case of Circle of Healing, if you say within the totem's range, you'll heal faster. And you can also heal yourself without the use of a medkit. I see, but which of these perks will I sacrifice in order to take Boon Circle of Healing? Uh... Uh... Between the two, I you could probably either swap out either Autodidact or... Well, you could probably swap out Bond for the purposes of healing, because I, I imagine you'd like to keep Autodidact. I would, yes, but... Finding other survivors has proven to be very difficult. Hmm. Let me see. Actually, hey, Which is why I thought being able to see the auras would be helpful for me. Hmm. Here's, a good Here's a question. Do you have a perk called Blood Pact? I don't believe so. Okay, it's one of Cheryl's perks. If you're able to get it, I think it would help you. Because what it does is basically, when you or the Obsession are injured, you can see each other's auras. So you'll be able to see one another if one of you is injured. And if you heal the Obsession, or if the Obsession heals you, you get a little speed bonus for a few seconds as long as you're within close range of one another. You said it's one of Cheryl's perks? Cheryl Mason. She's another survivor. I don't believe I have her. Hmm. I do not. Well, if you're, if you're able to... If you're ever able to get Cheryl, Blood Pack's a pretty good perk to have. Hmm. Perhaps I shall look into it. Well, um... Are there any other perks that you would like to know about, Fal? Uh, I have heard about one recently. I'm not sure much about it, but it's called We the People. Or for the people. For the people, yes, that's a it's a bit of a bit of a risk and reward sort of perk if you catch my drift. Also, hello, Kyudamina. I do not, I did not realize you were floating. It, it's, that, it's a figure of speech, Val. Speech has a figure. <clears throat> Anyways, you were wondering about for the people. Yes, I'd like to know about it. Okay, it's a, it's a risk and reward, so literally the perk even says it. You risk life and injury for others, so this is one of those perks you can only have when you're at full health, and basically what it does is when you're healing another survivor without the use of a medkit, if you press the active ability button, you will activate the perk and you will instantly heal the survivor for one health state, so from dying to injured or injured to healthy, but in return, you become injured yourself, you get the broken status, meaning you can't be healed, and you also become the obsession. Ah, what an interesting way to draw fire to yourself. Like I said- That sounds horribly altruistic. Like I said, risk and reward. Hmm. I think I'll have to take a strong pass. Well, if you say so. Like, literally, you can ask me about any perk, and I will do my best to explain it to you, Val. I, I even think, feel like the audience would be greatly informed just as much as you. Well, as I understand, there's a few relatively newer perks that I am unfamiliar with. That oh, yeah. One of them, I believe, was off the record. Off the record? Oh, yes! That, ironically enough, is another perk, like for the people, off the record is another perk from, uh, Zarina here. So, she uh, looks like Hanji. I approve. I didn't know you knew about Attack on Titan Infallible. 
Of course I know Shingeki no Kyojin. It's all about fighting and war. It's one of my favorites. I take it you watched it with Unbreakable? Of course not. <sighs> Though I'd like to. I would like to think he would really be down for that. Dominic is also offering you some grapes. What is a grape? A fruit? Oh my god, how much... Never mind. How much what? Are they offering me a grape or are they trying to sell me one? But what is going on here? They're offering you a grape as a friendly offering, eh, a foul? <clears throat> Did you just confuse me with the druid? No, what are you like? No, 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 I swear, slip of the tongue, I didn't mean for that to happen. <sighs> well, it's quite clear that you'd prefer to be here with her. No! Why don't you just go bugger off then? No! Go on, go walk your little pony butt to the grove for a while. I can, I can manage here. No, infallible, I'm not going anywhere. Well, I'm not either. Fine then. So then, off the record. Ah, yes. Serena's Kirk. Essentially, it's been changed recently with, uh, <clears throat> with one of the recent updates to the game, where they've made the effects of another perk base kit, meaning that it just is a natural thing for all survivors. So off the record, it activates when you're taken off the hook. And what it means is, uh, when you get off the hook without the record, your aura won't be shown to the killer, you don't leave any scratch marks, well, I mean, your grunts of pain are muffled, and you also gain the endurance status for all of 80 seconds, meaning you can take an extra hit before you go into the dying state. Now, does that stack with the built-in extra hit that you can take coming off the hook? No, it does not. Then that sounds utterly pointless! Well, literally, it gives- literally, if you don't do any inconspicuous actions with off the record, you literally have the endurance status for 80 seconds. Also, hello, Jasper. Hello. My name is Infallible, not Jasper. I was talking to somebody in the chat, a friend of mine by the name of Jasper Pie. Jasper Pie? Yes. Sounds delicious. Uh, you know... Look, actually, that, that does remind me of something. Is it Pie? For this gift no. of power, I am grateful. Oh, what does it matter? Look, just... I was wondering if Pei had given you any of that courage tea blend that she was mentioning to me before. Oh, well... Yes, I suppose a package did show up on my doorstep the other day, though... I'm not sure how she found my door. Definitely concerning. M maybe she probably sent it through, through Unbreakable, maybe? You're saying he didn't tell me? Again? Tell you what? <sighs> that he's working with that... That thing. That thing is my friend, Infallible. I know I'm trying to make things right with you, but I'm not also going to tolerate you bad-mouthing her all this much. Well, don't worry, I'll bad-mouth you plenty too. I was just wondering if you had any more of that special tea she made for you. I do, yes. Did you like it? It was... not disgusting. Well, that's good at least. I I'm sure- I'm certain she'd be more than happy to keep making more for you. <clears throat> well... That's all I wanted to ask. That's all I wanted to know. Ugh. Anyway. <sighs> right, how did I completely forget to ready up? 
I don't know, maybe you were too distracted. Concern Shadow's new guest may be a cannibal. No, no, Jasper, Infallible is friendly, I assure you. Yes, look how friendly I am. Friendly and entertaining. That's why I'm here. Yes. See, the chat's really catching on to you, Val. I'd still say the crash course in evisceration was the better way to go. Are you sure you don't want to be a demonstration? The positive? Ah, uh, well, alright then. It was worth a shot. And look, even Scarlet here, Scarlet here says, I always like Infallible from the start. Well, that is a very wise and generous move. Before we slaughter you all, Easy, we might offer for you to join us. Easy, Fal. There is no need to threaten them. The correct response is to say, thank you. Thank you. See? There you go. The world didn't blow up or nothing, and you're not on fire or anything. Is setting you on fire a possibility? I like the sound of it. I'm going to get a whole lot more of those comments during the stream, aren't I? Beep! I don't know. Possibly. Again, it's justified, but... Look. Hurl it all you want, I'm so sorry for what I did, even if you don't believe it. You're right, I don't believe you at all. Not even a little bit. No. I suppose I'll have to keep throwing myself at the killer then. And and yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to miss your boob the Benny there, Cutamina. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. It would appear we're dealing with a nightmare this time. Oh, uh, wonderful. How does that song go? One, two, something about a shoe. One, two, Freddy's God, coming. It's one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four. I thought it was a shoe. Two. No, it's Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, don't stay up late. And nine, ten, never sleep again. Well, I agree with that last part. Sleep is entirely overrated. Truly. Have you ever faced Freddy in this game before, Val? Yeah, perhaps once. So you're familiar with how he works as a killer? Not at all. So, his whole thing is that you see that timer around our names? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Essentially, when it fills up, we enter the dream world. And if, but if Freddy hits us beforehand, before the timer goes down, then we enter the dream world regardless. The dream world, you say? Yes. Well, that sounds full of potential. Well, it's in there. See, now we're in the dream world, just as I say that. Uh, also, so, I appear to have garnered Freddy's attention. Come on. Nice. What nice happens thing. in this dream world that I should be concerned with? So, Freddy has a lot of things he can do in the dream world. Depending on what add-ons he has, he can use dream snares, which he just lays on the ground, and basically slow you down and make you scream if you run over them. Or he can also run dream pallets, basically pallets that... Oh! Pallets that will do nothing if you slam them down. That sounds incredibly frustrating. And in the right hands of a good Freddy player, they can be very effective. I think I'm going to go down here in just a moment. 
Ow. Yeah. <sighs> that is not preferable. What isn't? I... Oh, whatever. I suppose I'll come and rescue you then. I appreciate it, pal. Go. Oh. You don't really have to. I, I don't mind being the first one to be hooked. This is fine. No, I've got company. Yeah. <sighs> Hello, friend. Oh, that's another thing I should point out. Uh, <sighs> if you're in the dream world, there's like alarm clocks scattered throughout the dream world in the trial. If you find one, you wake you can wake yourself up and also you get a little protection from entering the dream world again for a bit of time. I had to decide to come try and save you, didn't I? Well, I appreciate it. You didn't have to, especially with how angry you are, but I appreciate it. Uh, look, I I'll come get you down. Where, 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 where are you? I'm oh. just trying to be entertaining. He said saving you would be entertaining. No. That's why I'm here. How did he miss me there? Oof! Thank you, Lori! Ah. Thank you, Lori. You should probably run, Fal. I am definitely doing the running. Another is as cute me that. You know, the Acolyte sounds like a good name for a Dead by Daylight killer, which I actually agree with. I make a fantastic killer, yes. I'm sure your Apex would very much agree with you there, too. <clears throat> he really wants me. Is it the hair? Is it the hair? It is pretty fabulous, I guess I can't blame you. But I spent a lot of time on my new hair. And you did very well on it, Val. Wake the fuck up! There we go. Is he just leaving you on the ground? He is. Excuse me a moment, I've got... Hang on, I've, I've got you, Val. I've got you. Well... What, did you think? I, I wasn't going to leave you lying on the ground here. What kind of friend would I be if I did do that? It definitely does conflict with your previous actions. Look, I'm not going to let you die, Fal. Or at least I'm going to make an active attempt to not let you die that easily. So you say. Let's let's get Young Jin down. Uh oh. Oh, Freddy's right there. We shouldn't be sticking around here. Actually, uh, hold Silimon infallible. Yes. Let's... let me make this a little easier for you. Oh. Well, Come thank on, you. Come on, wake up. There you go. I suppose you can say that you've woken me up inside. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. A good one what? That was a very funny joke. Thank you. I've been told that jokes are entertaining, so I am practicing them. And you're doing very good. I feel like I should not be here. Oh, well, you're occupied with Lori there, Mr. Freddy, sir, so I'm just gonna go get Yun Jin down. Uh -oh. Ow! That did not sound like a good sound. I... Ow is the wrong sound for you to be making. No, it, it is absolutely not the right sound. I mean, I got Yun Jin down at least. By any chance, have you found a generator? I've just found one now. 
Well, there was a redeem earlier from Alex Kaiser. <clears throat> uh, a word of warning to you, Miss Fallible. When it comes to facing Freddy Krueger, is that if he kills you in the dream world, then you die in the real world. Well, that's how it goes in the world he's from, that is. Not sure if that is how it works by daylight world, though. Don't think that entity would like that. <laughs> I... Uh, I did not know that was part of the plan. You, you, did you, have you never heard of how Freddy Krueger works? No, I, I haven't. That's how his dream powers work. At least in the nightmare, in, at least in the movies he's from. If he kills you in the dream world, then you die for realsies. That sounds terrible. Well, this is Dead by Daylight, not a nightmare on Elm Street, so it's obvious that it doesn't function exactly like that. Is it possible to learn this power? Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know if Shadow Magic can do that. Then again, I've never experimented with it. God damn this lag. Ah, oh, this is not good. Let's hear it, Alec. Let's hear it. Oh, Let's hear it. Lovely son. You should run. Well, I wasn't going to sit around and ask him out to dinner. Was the fight between Freddy and Jason in the dream world? That was something. Let's. Oh! Ah! Oh, foul! Ah! Uh. Curses. <sighs> Is he just leaving you on the ground again? He is indeed. Why, though? I don't know, perhaps... He wanted to look at my hair more. Maybe. Or maybe he was going for Yun Jin. Oh, is he picking you up now? No, he's picking her up now. Oh. I am fully recovered, but I don't think that's going to matter much. Oh dear, hello, Freddy. He's got dream palettes, by the way. I mentioned them to you earlier. Oh! <clears throat> I might be dead here. Please tell me Lori's going for you. No. Uh, she appears to be on a generator. Oh, Come on, my life for yours! Get up, get up, get up! Uh, mm. Oh, no! Ah. Well, that's... I didn't even realize which way he came in from. Mm. I'm sure this is fine. Eh, nothing can go wrong at all. <laughs> Oof! Why did I hesitate there? Well, he fell for what I'm assuming was a blast mine. Yeah. This is perfectly fine. Well, I am up now. Has Infallible ever participated in her first ever Halloween? What is that? Some kind of dance? It's a holiday where literally everybody dresses up in costumes and they go trick-or-treating and they get candy and all sorts of things. What on earth is trick-or-treating? It's literally what it is, going from door to door in costumes, saying trick or treat to anybody who opens the door, and, well, they give you candy. I suppose that would be the treat part. And if they don't give you candy, do you get to trick them? Yes. Uh, if you really are feeling that way, I guess. Freddy's here. 
I am already gone. Why do I think that's was a wise choice? And th that is also something I should mention about Freddy's power. By the way, if you're in the dr if you're like not in the dream world, then you won't be you won't see dream snares or pallets or anything. So it makes it a little easier to differentiate what's real and what's not. So. And here I thought the weird, sort of, echoey singing let you know you were in the dream world. Yes, but that's his terror radius, because in the dream world you're also oblivious to his presence. Which I'm in the dream world right now, so, makes sense. Oh, there's a dream palette that right there. That's incredibly frustrating. I can't believe you fell for that, Freddy. I'm very most likely dead, so, uh... Ow. Yeah, this... I should have expected this. Oh well, I had my fun. Take me away, Freddy. That is such a casual attitude about death. Yeah. I approve. Yeah, I mean... Uh, wait. Uh, okay, he just... Either he let me wiggle out, or he just couldn't make it to a hook in time. Nice done. Nicely done. Bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Nicely done, infallible. Thank you. If you can keep me strong, I might be able to get the gates open. Or not, because he has no way out. Oh, dear. I am not the best of distractions. No, you're fine. I, I didn't anticipate he had no way out. Ah! Oh, crap, baskets. We're in danger. Yes, I can tell. Uh, I'm sorry, where did he go? Come on, get up, get no up, idea. get up! Sorry. What the? All right, now what is he doing? I don't actually know. I'm gonna hope that no way out wears off within the next few seconds. <sighs> Fell! Ugh. Damn it. That's a dream. Is it perhaps possible that he has a Mori? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Put me down. Unhand me, I say. You'll pay for this. Uh, oh, well. Uh, hey, 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 hey. You listen to orders. Ow. I feel as if he's going to slug, which is uh, not normally a good thing. But... Okay, now what? Do you have any idea what this guy's doing? No, I don't. Uh... Hmm. Okay, up we get. <sighs> no, really, what's going on here? I have no idea. Right, come on, let me get you back up. Actually, quickly, because you're very close to bleeding out, and I would really hate for that to happen. Thank you. Get up! Alright, let me, let me get, get Lori there. Oh no, he has Remember Me. I don't know what that means. It's a perk that actually has to do with you being the obsession. And what does that mean? If, if he has remember, if he has remember, me, the, the more times he whaps the obsession with a basic attack, <laughs> the 
The more time he hits into session with a basic attack, uh, the, the, the longer it takes for the exit gates to open. He has Blood Warden too, doesn't he? I don't know what Blood Warden means. Were the exit gates Why can't I get out of here? Them? Yes. That's Blood Warden. Uh, a lengthy duration, most of the time. This is nonsense. Unfair. You could still find the hatch, technically. No, I couldn't. Hmm. Well, it was a worthy effort, at least. Well, Mercy certainly agrees with you on what you said about Blood Warden. Well, of course. It was a perfectly logical thing to say. Adam, did you see what they're doing on the PTB server? Yes, the whole thing of... What's it called? The finishing Mori thing? The anti-slugging stuff? And, uh, yeah. What was What is all this you're talking about? Uh, they're, they're going to be implementing some new changes to stuff in a future update of the game, Val. Changes like what? Uh, for example, uh, uh, um... They're going to be changing it so that when there's one survivor left in the trial and the killer downs them, it instantly takes them to a, a Mori animation where the, the killer literally does their thing and kills the last remaining survivor. <laughs> that sounds excellent. Well, I figured you'd like that because, well, the only way you, you'd see the Mori animation currently is to use a Mori offering as a killer. Yes, Kunamina, an auto Mori, basically. I don't know why it, it suddenly kicked me from the lobby, that's weird. It did the same thing to me, I think it's because it's server reset. It's officially a new day according to Dead by Daylight. So are you not able to send me an invite again? Oh, never mind, there it is. Thank you. Uh, also, yeah, Val, yeah. I... I Val, I feel like you. I feel like you might like. Th thank you, by the way. I feel like you might like this one from Alex Kaiser. Fell. No. It's another redeem. <clears throat> uh, give me a moment. <clears throat> uh, Bricky never told Infallible about Halloween. That is very unacceptable. Not knowing about Spooky Month takes away a good chunk of Fell's wonder. What next? He never told her about the most wonderful time of the year, either! That's it! I'm getting me a murder shovel to use on the old snickerdoodle! <laughs> Although, I am quite a fan of the idea of a shovel specifically for murder. What is the most wonderful time of the year? I believe he's talking about Christmas. Chris who? Christmas. It's another holiday for the winter season, where, where literally you get presents under a tree from uh, Santa Claus, a big fat guy in red who flies a sleigh and gives presents to all the good little boys and girls and gives coal to all the naughty boys and girls, as the thing goes. Incredibly nonsensical. Are you trying to prank me again? Is this another one of your tricks? No, it is absolutely not. No, no more tricks, I assure you, Fal. None at all. Do you expect me to believe that there's a big fat guy that comes around and brings presents? Yes. To children. Yes, that's that's what the holiday season is. The holiday 
season is a big fat guy in red bringing presents to children. Yes. And nobody finds this suspicious. Well, no. Why not? Because it makes all the boys and girls happy with the Santa Claus stuff. Well... What if it wasn't some fat red guy in a sleigh? What if it was... a man in a white van? Offering presents to all the little boys and girls? I feel like people would be really upset by that. Then that would also be cause for concern, yes. But if it's a big red guy, it's not a problem. If he's flying a sleigh... That's weird. Yeah, yeah. I... I know. It's very hard to believe, but again, that's how holidays around here work, Val. Also, hello, Blue Circuit. Nice to see you. Hmm. Do all holidays involve this big guy in red and no. his sleigh? No. That's Christmas. And who is Chris? Jesus Christ, the... It'd, it'd, it'd take too long to explain all that, Val. Right. Right. But I thought it was Chris. No, it's not. Whatever. Your holidays make no sense. Well... Hmm. And yeah, even White Blade also mentions another holiday, Thanksgiving, where literally everybody gathers around a table and just eats a big feast. Including with the, the centerpiece being turkey. Turkey. A bird. A, a sporting bird. Basically a bird that it can be hunted f to eat. So... You sit around the table, listen to the huntress as she wanders through, and eat a bunch of birds? I this is a holiday for you? Yes, and I actually didn't know it was a huntress until you literally just said her name. Uh, I could hear her singing. Kinda hard to miss the singing, yeah. Hmm. So what is the purpose of eating these birds? To literally feast and be grateful for what you have. I mean, that's what Thanksgiving is, to be grateful for what you have. But who are you being grateful to? Nobody in particular, just grateful for whatever. Literally anything you're grateful for, you can say it on that holiday. Interesting. So, like, if you were to get a set of new daggers or something. Then you would be grateful for that, yes. I see. So you never have to be grateful at all, except for one day a year. No, no, that not just on Thanksgiving. Not just on Thanksgiving, but for God, why am I so bad at explaining things? I'll, I'll very well. Maybe try another holiday. Hang on, Michaela. I got you. Do you see the huntress? I do not, but I hear her singing. Usually hard not to hear her. Well, go on then. Tell me about another holiday. Um, you actually want to know more? Yes, of course I do. Well, there's also, uh, there's, uh, there's Easter. That's a very popular holiday around here. What is Easter? It's kind of, sort of, but not quite the same as Christmas, only instead of a uh, Santa Claus, it's the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny? Easter Bunny, yes. He comes around and gives children uh, chocolate eggs and all sorts of stuff in baskets, and it's also all about painting eggs and all that kind of stuff. What does a bunny have to do with eggs? I don't know, actually. 
This makes no sense. No, it doesn't, and yet it's a very popular holiday still, Fel. So you have a fat guy in a sleigh that brings you presents, and a bunny that brings you eggs? I and don't understand. Eggs and candy. Eggs and candy. <sighs> I think you're kidding. I wish These you things cannot be real. They are, Fal. How do I know this isn't all an elaborate prank to make me look stupid later? You can literally look it up. I can show you, and you can you will see as fact that yes, Easter and Christmas are really all about that. Darn it. Oh, hi, Hunters! Well, I still say out of the holidays you told me about this, Halloween sounds interesting. Hey, the idea of running around playing tricks. Well, mm. that's also the thing about Halloween, is that it's the time of month where you get to be as scary as you want to be. Literally. I do that every month! Well, then you'd fit right in with a Halloween season. Hmm. And hang Maybe on, you're right. Hang on. I, I, I owe you this much for last match and all that. Get down from there. Thank you. Of course. Please don't tell me the Huntress is coming back this way. Alright, I won't tell you the Huntress is coming back this way. But we should definitely run. Yes. There you go. If you... Uh, I was working on the generator in the shack if you want to try and make your way towards there. Uh, I don't know where that is, to be perfectly honest with you. You can follow me, then. Uh, oh, hello! The, the Huntress is right here. Let's move this way. Yeah, let's not follow you. Follow me, he says as he runs right into the killer. Oh, that, isn't that what you wanted? That, no! I, yes! I don't know. Well, if you want me to keep doing it, I will. I don't think that's wise. Uh-oh. Ouch! Yeah, not wise. Hello, Huntress! Goof! I deserve that. Oh. No, you don't. I, I, I'm coming for you. you. You don't have to, Fal. I'm perfectly fine with accepting the hook. Welcome to the Void. I might as well. Oh, hi, Rumble. Thanks for coming for the raiding party. And welcome to the Realm of Shadows. It's just me and Fallible playing some Dead by Daylight, but thanks so much for the raid. Hope your stream went well. Aw, oh, crap. Chasing you? Or hmm. I don't know. No, oh, she's she's coming back for us. Thank you! Oh, this uh, 
Where did you go, Fel? I am in a locker to refill my health pack. Was that you who just screamed? I think so. We're all exposed. She... That Huntress has Iron Maiden, then. I don't know what that means. It's... It's a perk. A killer perk. If the killer has I Iron Maiden... If the killer has Iron Maiden equipped, they open lockers faster, and if, an, and if a survivor exits a locker, they scream and are afflicted with the exposed status, meaning they go down in one hit. So, yeah. I, I didn't know that. It was my fault for coming out of that locker. You couldn't have known she had Iron Maiden until that point, so it's not your fault. It's oh. most unfortunate. This is fine. You, you don't have to worry about yourself. Worry about doing this, Fal. It's fine. Oh, hello. Come on, then. Oh, Why are you? But I don't know if that was worth it. Oh god, she wants me. It was for me. As you said, rescuing you is entertaining, and I am here to entertain. This is what I am doing today. Well, I appreciate it. I I don't think she very much like the Huntress very much likes me though. Cause uh yeah, she's still chasing me. Oh! Rumble says hi to you, by the way, Fal. Hello, see that? People are happy to see you. Mm. Perhaps it is all the work I am putting in being entertaining. But you are being entertaining. Have you just died? Yes, sadly. Oh, that is not a good sign. Well, you only have one generator left to do, if I remember correctly. Yes, but where is it? it? Looks like Michaela's working on one right now. Excellent. Perhaps I should just hang out here by the door then. Or not. It looks like she's been found. My day has been the going alright, Crystal way. Wing. Uh, my day is going alright, Crystal Wing. And oh, he's asking how your day's been too, Fal. My day has been brilliant. I woke up. I found tea on my doorstep. I came here to train, and then right into well, you. That wasn't part of the plan, admittedly, but but what? Well, it's not as awful as it could be. So, well, I mean, I've been having fun with you. I really have been. Well, good. That's what you're supposed to do. Have fun, I'm yes. So fun and friendly. Ah, the Huntress with that shot. Walk out. Oh dear. Uh, what is this from Rumble? Sh you know, Shadow, I got a notification on my phone that you went live, and I saw the title, was thinking it was going to be the Apex and possibly infallible, so I guess I was half right. But how are the two of you doing? Oh, I'm doing alright, I think Foul also explained how she was doing. I'm still quite angry, but doing alright, I suppose. Which is an understandable anger, again. And Michaela's dead. This is not good news. 
I think the Huntress is occupied with the other Rebecca there. If you find a generator to work on... One right in front of the asylum there. Yes. But I think the one upstairs has more done on it than this one. Uh oh. Oh! Ah! There was the Huntress. There she is. How's DVD been treating the both of you? Hmm. Well. It's been a very entertaining session so far. Uh, I've actually been having a lot of fun with Fowl tonight. Um, you have? Yes? Why wouldn't I be having fun? No reason. Just... Good to know. Well, yes, I've been having fun with you. I actually, I mean... Despite what you may believe, I actually was looking forward to playing together with you again. I find that very difficult to believe. It's the truth, though. <sighs> oh, if you say so, though. That, um, that was unfortunate. The Huntress literally fell from the sky. I thought it was supposed to be raining men, not raining huntresses. <laughs> that was also funny. Yes, I have been practicing my jokes. You're doing a very good job. I think that other Rebecca's dead too, sorry to say. Since it's not likely that she's going to find me. I mean, my friend. The Huntress is definitely going to find me. I might as well give her a chase. Make her work Super high speed that. chase. This chase is so high speed. Liking your new look, infallible. Ah, yes, thank you. I thought the apex looked rather nice, and I wanted to look nice too. She he hopes that it's good and comfy for you. Well, you know, now that you mention it, it, it is kind of soft, and there's plenty of places to hide daggers and other weapons. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Well, like I said, I like it. It fits you. It's very elegant looking. Especially with the knife. Well, that is... awfully... kind... of you to say. Of course. All right, then. That was a very weird match. I do admit it was quite strange. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, are you feeling better at all, Fal? Uh, um, I... I suppose I am. Look, I know that you're still mad at me, and I expect I have a lot to make up for, but again, you have every right to be angry at me still, but I want you to know that I actually still have been having fun with you, both now and the first time we played together in this game. <clears throat> you have? Yes, genuinely. 
believe me, I, I am happy to have at least been able to show you a different perspective on things, Infallible. Yes, well... <laughs> I know, alright? I know. I shouldn't have lied to you or tricked you or anything like that, but again, I just wanted you to have the Apex back, but we can still be friends, can't we? Friends. Yes. We can be friends. Well, I'm really happy to hear that, I am. Y you know, you do make good company still, which, uh, I guess you could really say that I'm your first real friend. Wouldn't you agree, Fel? My first... <sighs> My first friend. Yes. I had a friend once. Long ago. Before he came. I was such a different creature then. Happy. Until the Apex came and destroyed everything I ever knew. Uh... What was that, Fel? <laughs> what? What was... What did you just say about the Apex and being a different creature and all that? That's none of your business. Dude... Sorry? Are you okay, though? Of course I'm alright. Uh, Never mind. We have a killer to outsmart. Yes, specifically a devil gorgon. Are you sure you're... Uh, I, I was only curious, I mean. Uh, don't you know that curiosity kills the feline? Or equine, in your case, I suppose. I, I mean... Uh, never mind. No! Oh! Feisty! Usually getting slashed by a demogorgon tends to hurt. Yeah. Unactivated to fallible. Uh. What do you mean? I am an acolyte? Yes, I, I know, but. Uh, it's nothing now, never mind. Thank you, Felix. Thank you, Felix. Oh. Yeah, Springtrap, I'm gonna ask you to tone it down, please. You're starting to get a little... Eh, please. Yeah, uh... The real infallible? Well, I don't... Oh. I am the real infallible! <laughs> Never mind it now. You don't have to worry about it anymore, Fal. I do have to worry about being chased by this Demogorgon, though. Oh, dear. Oi! Like that Bill's name, by the way. Gotta believe. Yes. It's clever. Yes, it is. This Demogorgon appears to be obsessed with me, by the way. I'm not here, Mr. Demogorgon. I am not here. Oh shit. There's one generator down. <laughs> yeah, um, guys, let's let's uh, let's just let Infallible enjoy the game now. I I'm sure what happened before was nothing. What are you talking about? 
just before, your voice changed. Like, you sounded human, kind of. I... I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, that's why S was asking for people to just let it go for now. Yes, it's... it's none of your business, anyway. I wasn't going to ask anymore, Fel. I, I don't want to bother you about I... something that clearly clearly doesn't involve me. That was talking about the chat. But good. Sorry, I I was just curious. But again, I won't pry for something that doesn't involve me. Anyways, uh, I'm not letting you die that quickly. Get down from there. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, gods! Oh, no. That was most unfortunate. Just a wee bit. Right, now, what is that demo doing? Oh, hi, Bill. Well, we got two generators done, so hey, that's... I call that a success. Thank you. Where did you get to? Is that you? Oh, just hanging out around the corner. Let me, let me, let me patch you up there. Thank you. Yes, of course. Here, allow me to return the favor. Sorry, also, Magnus, uh, about the Monkey Island games? Yeah, I'd like to play them sometime. Monkey Island? There's an entire island full of monkeys. It's a series of storytelling games, actually. So, not an entire island full of monkeys. Uh, not t technically, no, yeah. What on earth? Why was that skill check area so tiny? Was it... I think this Demogorgon might have overcharge. I also think I might be dead! Ah, uh, no. Oh, hey, J-Raw, good to see you. Yeah, I guess I had that coming. This is not looking so great for us. Not strictly. Is this a bad time to ask you if you've actually ever encountered a Demogorgon before, Val? Yes, it's a terrible time. The answer is no. I haven't. Hmm. Raindrop. You know, Crystal Wing, you're not the only one, and I don't know why it's doing that. Ah, well, that is the end of me. Oh, he's looking for Felix. That is unfortunate. Now. He's looking for Felix now. Or at least I thought he was. No, he's going back to Bill. Ah, Bill is done for. Perhaps our Felix will be able to find this mythical hatch of yours. He's got me the last survival remaining for it to spawn, so... Uh, 
I believe also he must be on the ground floor, correct? Yes. Oh, I guess he sacrificed himself then. Go on, you blonde fool. Find your escape. Yes, make an attempt to at least. Do you think you'll find it, Fel? I think he's found it. Or maybe not. Oh! No, there it is! Yeah, it's right there! Ha ha ha! He's a very lucky boy. He is indeed quite lucky. Hmm. I wonder where he gets his luck from. Perhaps he took a foot off of this giant bunny you try to tell me exists. Well, they do say rabbit's feet do bring good luck. At least, that's what the omen says. <sighs> Which, um, if, if you will permit me to ask you something else, infallible? Well, go on then. I was just... Curious how you and Unbreakable are doing now. Again, well, since you appear to have reconciled, I mean. Oh, well, things are all right, I suppose. Haven't oh. seen him much lately. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, also, hello, Felix from last game. GG, we'll try to save you. Don't worry about it, dude. I appreciate it. Just, uh, good yes, luck. I am very bad. No, we're both bad. Don't worry about it. Anyways, uh, GG's to you, dude, and uh, good luck in your next matches. Thanks for stopping by, by the way. It was a nice hatch. Yes. But uh, would you say that things with you and the Apex are better now than they were before? I suppose they are. They're still a little different, I suppose. Thanks again, Felix. Uh, uh, sorry. That nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. No, no. I, I was just gonna say thank you again, Felix, and good luck in your next matches. Uh, what were you going to say? Oh, just you know, he seems a little. Different lately, but I am trying to be entertaining. Yeah, well, and you. I, I would say that, that. I, I would guess. say that I would say that you're succeeding in being entertaining tonight, Fel. Well, thank you for your assistance. Well, I'm happy to help my friend. <clears throat> but yeah, even I've noticed that the old snow globe is still acting differently. I mean, for one thing, he actually calls me Shadow now when he always just calls me Boy, which I never expected him to do, given it's, well, given it's unbreakable. Yes, well... He doesn't seem to be quite so murderous when it comes to you. That's really the biggest surprise for me, really. Well, I, I wouldn't know about that. What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. It, it doesn't matter. Are you sure? I mean, if you brought it up, it must mean something. Well, I... I suppose the fact that he doesn't want to see your ultimate undoing is... Well... sits just fine with me. So, you're happy that Unbreakable is what he is now? I 
say that again. Just said that I'm happy he doesn't want to see her undo it. Fair. Also, it's an executioner now. Good old Daddy Pyramid Head. I, I, I mean, what? Who said that? I believe you said that. <laughs> yeah. Miss Much Rumble. Uh, we, uh, we're dealing with it. We're on Raccoon City now, dealing with an executioner. Hello, Fal. Hello. Well, I think he's coming. Hello, executioner. That's also a hex totem. <sighs> Also a very whoa! Yeah. Sorry, did not mean for you to take a hit there. This is probably alright. Nah. Well, I suppose you have a better chance of surviving anyway. Whoa! Might want to take a rain check on that. Hang on, I'm coming for you, Fal. <sighs> Thank you, Bill. Or, well, he could beat me to the punch. That works, too. Actually. Uh-oh. This is not good. Hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll protect you with my body. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's not good. Mistakes were made. It's fine. Nobody really knows what a hex totem is until, you know, the effects are made apparent. Mistakes were made. It's fine. We all make mistakes. <sighs> I mean, believe me, I've made plenty. Of, I've made plenty of mistakes, like that one there. Sorry. Oh, you don't say. I hadn't noticed. It's fine. Sorry. There we go. Anything. Jay Rog, like the old saying goes, nobody's perfect, which is true. I mean, I would go so far as to say that, you know, even somebody like the Apex isn't Ouch! Fully even something like him isn't fully perfect. Ugh. But I am meant to be infallible. Yes, but... Like, you know... You're not perfect. I'm not perfect either. Even the Apex isn't perfect. How dare you say such blasphemy? I only meant it in the sense of, like, yes, he's... He's powerful, but he's... Oh! He's also not... Look, you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. Oh, this lag is going to kill me! Oh. So you're having a bit of trouble picking me up there, Pyramid Head. Did did, did you just realize uh, that... What, what are you doing? There you go! That's what you were looking to do. I'm this trying is... to heal this pill, but he just keeps running away from me. This is perfectly fine. All part of the plan. <laughs> well, it is kind of entertaining. This time you're the one trapped in the cage. Yeah, I... Kind of brought this onto myself, so at least I've been able to provide that much to you. In some strange way, I feel as though justice has been served. Yeah, nice. I don't mean to be a party pooper, but you think you might be able to rescue this boy here? I was trying to find the stairs to get upstairs. Oh. 
Hello. Hello. Ugh. Thank you. When I expect a tip. Yes, yes. Well, if you want a tip, uh, just get a little lower down the spine. That's the spot for a magic back rub. You know what they say about begging and choosing. I had to try. Also, unless I'm mistaken... Okay, he had Hex Ruin, but I think somebody else cleansed the totem. Also, you need to be careful if you happen to run through his, like, his little trail of uh, judgment, by the way. Like I just did. Yes, because he's got the Lost Memories book add-on or whatever it is, so if you run through the trails, you, you're hit with the Oblivious status, meaning you won't hear his terror radius. Uh, I hear his terror radius right now, what do you mean? Hmm. Maybe I'm hallucinating. What? Oh, oh, God, he's right behind you. Let's run. Well, I did say I could hear his terror radius, didn't I? I must have been misinterpreting. Oh, no! Wait, is he chasing you? Well, yes, he followed me downstairs. Oh, dear. No, as far as I'm aware, Volpe, he doesn't have Hex Pentimento. I just know he had Ruin and Haunted Ground, which uh, Infallible, unfortunately, discovered early on. I figured it out the hard way. And it's fine. It, it's gone now, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, I am back in the cage. I hate being in the cage! Hang on, no, you won't be in the cage for long. I'm coming for towards you. Alright, have a good one, White Blade. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bill and I have got you. Just uh, hang tight. Thank you. Oh, he's coming. Careful, he's coming. I have no idea. Okay, well, there he is. I do not believe we're getting out of here alive. Oh, jeez. How did you not see me, bro? Oh, he's chasing Bill, that's why. But, 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 yeah. Cage of Atonement, that's Pyramid Head's special way of uh, hooking survivors, or unique way, if he can't make it to a hook. Uh, I, I, yeah. I would say something, but I don't want to ruin the moment we've got going on here, Fel. What was that? What do you mean? What was- Oh, hi! Executioner! Uh, hello? There you are. I was wondering what you were doing. Okay, now what are you doing? Got all up in my grill and they let me stun him. What is... I have no idea what he's doing. Ah! Oh, gods! Hi, Pyramid Head! Again! What are we doing? Uh... He's fall- I- 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 don't know what he's doing. At all. Neither do I. I'm a little frightened. Can you- Yeah. No, 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 really, Pyramid Head, what are we doing? Are we... You want a bottle of wine or something, or what are we doing? Yeah. I have no idea what's going on here. Is that you who got that generator done? No, I've been working on the one down here. With the bill. 
But then we scattered because you were coming this way with the pyramid head and... Hey. Are you... I believe he might be friendly. That's... That's the impression I'm getting now, Val. Ow! Ooh. Perhaps he was less friendly than he initially appeared. Ooh. Nope, nope, get up, get off me. Val, Val, stop. I think he wants to put me in the cage. At least I, I think it's what Yes, there he goes. I think that's what he wanted to do, was put me in the cage. I actually wonder if maybe he's looking to do final judgment, I, I wonder. Possibly. Do you know what that is with the Executioner, Fel? I do not. It's the same thing as the cage, just, uh... Ouch! This damnable frame drops. Ow! Ugh. And this kills the boy. Ah, uh, if not for those frame drops, I might have actually survived just a little bit longer. God. That's not good. I mean, if he's friendly... I'm honestly not exactly sure what he's doing. Me neither. Now I feel dumb because of those frame drops, but meh. <sighs> Would the cage be similar to being hooked three times and you're dead? Yes. But uh, in the case of a, uh, uh, in the case of the cage, uh, if you get down a, a third time when you're afflicted by. The Executioner's Torment, then you get hit by his Mori. Final Judgment. Why do I feel like that hex tone of Michelle is working on is no ed? Oh, it's another haunted ground totem. Brilliant. Hello? Yes, you are very close to me. I am very aware that you are there. Uh, I think he wants you to leave. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Alright, what did... Yes, that is the Executioner, Shell. What all did this boy have? Uh, let's see. On the ground, ruin, devour hope, and undying. Oh, so that's what it was. That's why he had two on the ground. It was undying. Ah, that explains it then. Do you know what hex undying does, Fel? It allows you to bring one of your hex totems back if it's been cleansed by the survivors. Yes, essentially, if a hex totem gets cleansed, then. Undying takes that totem's place instead of the one that would normally be cleansed. So basically, it's like an extra hit for your hexes, basically. And then it also has the added effect of also showing the auras of survivors that walk past totems. Or are near totems. It's quite handy. I never realized that was part of it. It sounds handy. Yes. Well, you know now. Yes. Well. This has been quite a bit of training for me, and... I think I... I think I might need a break from it. Yeah, I, I think we've had enough fun for tonight. But, um... Yes, it was fun. I'm happy that I could share it with you, Fel. 
It was... Nice. It was. Play with you too. It really was. I'm happy... I'm happy that I got to play with you again, even if you may still be angry at me. Uh, which, again, it's justified, but I want to do whatever I can to make it up to you. Well, you have been more than helpful today, and even though I'm not sure I believe you about this fat red man giving out gifts to children, or a giant bunny with eggs, I... I did enjoy this. And I enjoyed it too. I really did. Yes, well, there you have it. I, I suppose I should probably get going. I have to sharpen my knives or something. Yes, why don't we go raid somebody? Spread the realm's name to somebody before we go offline. Ah, yes! We absolutely should do that! Spread the realm's influence everywhere! Yes, see... See, this is exactly what Unbreakable told you, isn't it? Yes, it is my new purpose. Yeah, so, you know, again... Your pur- you still have a purpose, I'm assuming he told you then. Yes, to spread the realm of shadows' influence and... Being entertaining, which is why I've been practicing my jokes, and I came here fully prepared to give a lesson on evisceration. You weren't part of the plan, but I hope it was still entertaining. It was. Again, I'm, I'm really unhappy I got to play with you again, and I'm hoping maybe we could do it again sometime if you really want to. You would really want to play with me again? Yes, I really would. Even if you... Look, again, you have every right to be mad at me still, but I do still want to play with you again, if you'd like to. I... I would like that. As would I. Anyways, uh, as much as I would like to keep going, I, I, I do believe our time has sadly come to an end. You're right. Let's go spread the influence. Let's go raid this shark box guy, why don't we? It looks like he's playing Shark with... box. Well, it looks like he's playing Dead by Daylight too. so yeah. Do we have a raid message? Yes, we do. Oh, that is, that is not the correct command. Whoops. Oh, and a raid right. coming into our side. Welcome of to the like real the void. <laughs> Carol, Excellent, a double raid. Thank you for the raiding party, Carol. We were just about to raid out into somebody else. <laughs> but thank you, though. Uh, anyways, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming around to watch Infallible and I. Yes. Thank you, chat. You're doing good, Val. Anyways, uh, thank you all for all the love and support and everything, and for watching us doof around and all that good stuff. Have a good night, stay awesome, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> and with that, bye bye Bye!